Welcome back, family. Um, today we gotta discuss this YK Osiris situation. I couldn't stand back and let it go on no more. I I just couldn't, bruh. Like, I could never be dude. Like, real talk. Um, I could never, I could never be him. It's like he's becoming the poster child for to be the laughing stock of an industry. That's regulated by super masculine men, but you keep getting embarrassed, bro. So, like, if Lil Baby's supposed to be his homie, know they on camera, right? He tell him, like, look, I want my 5K. I'm knowing these people that owe Lil Baby more money than $5,000. That's the first thing. Second thing is, if you wanted it that bad, you could have hit him in the DM. You could have called him on his phone. Bro, these industry dudes and industry people like is letting him know they don't even give him that much respect like i tell my subs i say welcome back family once you sub to me i feel like you family i show y'all that much respect because y'all listen to me y'all share my videos y'all spread the information y'all make me who i am all i could do is make the content but without y'all it means nothing you see what i'm saying i respect y'all I'm not finna get in the comments and try to blast you or put you on blast or even if we was on camera, I wouldn't never do that to none of y'all. YK Osiris is becoming the poster child for this. So now it's like it is like you getting bullied on camera by a little baby over five thousand dollars. Some y'all throw around, play with, then you just had bought like some five thousand dollar earrings or whatever, but it's like bruh. YK Osiris, bro, take it from me. And this is just from the outside looking in. Bruh, these industry dudes, one of two things. Either they not your real friends or they just don't respect you when they just really don't like you, bruh. It's no way you the only one getting this. Let's say if this was Dirk. You think Lil Baby would have did that to Dirk on camera? No, he'd have called Dirk phone. He'd have inboxed Dirk. That show you the level of respect that you have for somebody. They don't respect YK Osiris at all. He's never getting respected in none of these situations. And I know what y'all thinking. Buddha, what you talking about, Buddha? Okay, look, I'm a, you y'all say y'all Buddha always come with the facts. Buddha always come with the proof. All the time. Y'all know I do. Now look, check this out. So now it's with him and Ocho Cinco, right? He showed a picture, say he spent 325k on some earrings. Ocho Cinco say, I got the same earrings from Claire's for $10. Now, everybody know Ocho Cinco thing is being cheap and saving money. YK Osiris thing used to be cheap and saving money too. That's why he so called had took all his cars back. But then you go do three, 325K on some earrings. I don't understand. I don't know what. And that's what I mean. He think this cool. And then he get to doing videos saying, no, spend your money. How you want to spend your money like that's the way it should be like spend your money on whatever you want to spend your money on YK Osiris listen bro 325k earrings bro if that's what you want to do and that's your money that's fine but when you was out here preaching about people saving their money you was telling people don't do stuff like this why would you tell people not to do stuff like this and then go do what you just told the people not to do See what I'm saying? So he just looking like a goofy. Like you, you just you ain't getting no respect. Your industry friends not respecting you. Ocho ain't respecting you. You know what I'm saying? And you doing a million videos running around calling him Ocho Coco. Like, don't nobody care about that, bro. But like at the same time, you saying you understand what he's saying, which is what you said in the beginning. But still, at the same time, this no. Okay, whatever, Ocho Coco. Uh, this is my money. I'm going to do what I want to do with it. Okay, bro. But you was campaigning for a time for people to save their money. Bro, I could tell you right now just by looking at them earrings, bro, you got played. You got played. I could tell by looking at them. You got played. Yeah, you got played. Yeah, you, yeah, you definitely got played. But... I'm not here to disrespect you. You know what I'm saying? And we not even homies. And I ain't trying to disrespect you. And it wouldn't be that hard for me to do. Because, bruh, the whole industry is disrespecting you. Okay, let's go to him and 21 Savage. 
Bruh. Him and 21 Savage. Okay, YKL Savage, go get the Drake heart. What 21 Savage say? Ain't even a heart, bro. That's Mickey Mouse is. Bro, YK Osiris, YK Osiris does nothing to get 21 Savage approved. Like, nothing at all. Anything he do, 21 Savage got a problem with it. Bro, you can't be my homie. You can't be. It's like you trying to front me off. Look, nobody thought 21 Savage was funny until YK Osiris came around. Nobody ever looked at him as an Instagram comedian or nothing. Everybody go crazy when he say something about YK Osiris. Because it's all the time, bro. That ain't a heart. It looked like Mickey Mouse is. But you respected Drake's, though. But you didn't tell Drake that he... See what I'm saying? It's like they not really your friends, bro. And then they don't even respect you enough to DM you or nothing. They put you all out front on Front Street. Look at this. 21 Savage. Now, look. The day this happened, right? When him and uh 21 Savage was going back and forth about his Gucci jacket or whatever like that, right? I guess some dude in Atlanta make him or whatever. I forgot his name or whatever, right? 21 Savage, like, he looked like this. He looked like that. He looked like this. He looked like that. You know what the funniest thing about this was? Moneybag, yo, got some of them same jackets. Yo, Gotti got some of them same jacks. Everybody that done went to Atlanta shop with dude and got these jackets. Why 21 Savage only single out YK Osiris? Why he ain't talk about none of them? Why he ain't go at them? 21 Savage even got clothes from the same dude that made it. And you know what he told YK Osiris? No, he knew he was bogus when he made yours. What you mean? So yours ain't bogus. How you... We, it's the same dude <laughs> made both of our clothes, made both of our jackets, pants, all that, man bogus, but because you 21 Savage, yours, right. But at the end of the day, like I said, I can't be YK Osiris because you being publicly embarrassed by your peers who you consider to be your friends. What is the friendship in that? I know child. Well, Buddha, they maybe they just playing Buddha. Maybe they no, it ain't that, that ain't they. That's maybe just how they play. They probably really is cool, Buddha. Let me give y'all some more proof. Then we ain't gonna stop. This is all over the internet, bro. Look at this. Look at this. I ain't never recorded. None of my guys looking sad. I ain't never recording. Uh, trying to go on them, telling y'all my guys done lost money. They looking angry. They looking upset. This is industry embarrassment. Industry embarrassment. My whole thing with mustard. You done shot dots with a lot of people and took their money. Why you ain't record them and put them out there like that? Explain that to me. That's what I'm saying. And like I said, for 21 Savage, you comment. Bro, it's like, it's like, it's either known through the industry. I don't know. Now, Boosie said YK Osiris. A street dude or whatever like that. Well, I don't see it. I don't see it. I do not see it. Who else get recorded looking sad, upset, miserable? Talk clothes talked about. Purchases talked about. Then he'll be like, I'm smart. Or every time he give a speech, he look off at the distance. Either like, like he looking for somebody to be like, like I agree with you. Or like... You dumb and you still goofy. But them ain't your friends, bruh. I wouldn't even gamble, bruh. I wouldn't even gamble with them no more. I wouldn't even call. How you study telling people to hit you in your DMs and they not? I would never disrespect none of my subscribers like that. I would never disrespect none of my people like that. I got my subscribers saying, y'all better not even play with me. So I ain't, <laughs> so I ain't with, like I said, my subs, they the family. That's why I start off every video saying, welcome back, family, because I know without y'all, I'm nothing. I'm not bigger than y'all. I'm not greater than you. I'm not finna talk about your outfit on social media. I'm not finna record you looking sad and upset. What are we doing? I'm not finna call you stupid for something you bad to the public. You know what I'm saying? One of my subscribers, any other female, whoever. If she go buy a Birkin bag, if I feel like I could have tell her something else, she could have deal with that money, I DM that to her. I get in contact with her. 
and we could discuss that between us. But for the public, I'm no better than you. Why am I embarrassing you? Why am I picking on you? Why am I belittling you? What makes me so much better than you? We all human. We all bleed the same. We all born the same. We all gonna lead the earth the same. You see what I'm saying? Why would I be embarrassing you? You know what I'm saying? I, I don't understand it. I don't get it. So when people come on here and they be like, oh, boo, are you growing it? Why you doing this and this and that? Because you got to stand for something. You got to have some type of integrity. I would never do this to none of my guys. Me and my guys done gambled a lot. I have never talked to picture when you took the money and whatever that. Then my guys got money. If I, even if we did take your money needed, I'll give you your money back. I'm not finna try to embarrass you. I'm not finna try to show you at your weakest point. I'm not finna talk about your clothes. I'm not finna talk about your haircut. For what? And then, like I said, it's only you. Go find somebody else much to did this with. Go find somebody else 21 Savage talk about all the time. Post Malone look weird as hell. 21 Savage said that's his best friend. Ain't never said a bad thing about Post Malone ever. And Post Malone look weird and I ain't trying to talk or disrespect him. But look how Post Malone be out here look zooty. Post Malone look like he done got one time. It, it had one time. It been hot ever since. I never seen 21 Savage say nothing about Post Malone. I never seen Lil Baby And I'm, it's people that was in that room That owe Lil Baby money I ain't never seen I ain't never seen that happen to them I ain't never seen him do that with them So Whack Hell Savage From me to you bro You need some new friends bro You need some better industry friends You need to move better I understand we was in a little situation With the pandemic Things might have got born a little bit Or whatever like that But bruh you have to start moving different, bro. This ain't respect. These people do not respect you. They don't respect you. They don't care about your feelings. They don't care about you being mad. They don't care about you being angry. They don't care about you being upset. They just make you look like a goofy, bro. I could never be you. Where I'm from, how we walk around, how we carry our hood, how we stand for stuff, how we come for, for with respect and in integrity. I could never be you. It no matter where I'm at, I'm going to be who I am. But I could never be you, though. This just flat-out embarrassment across the board. This flat-out making you look bad across the board. Like I say, man, shout-out to my subs. That's why I call y'all a family. I never go out of my way to embarrass y'all. And I appreciate y'all taking y'all time out to come listen to me. I appreciate y'all taking y'all time out to come watch these videos. But, man, if you got anybody around you and they doing and they doing you like how yk getting dead out here get away from them man it's your boy boo i'll see y'all on the next one